The referee, Paul Thomas, scores the contest. Randy Williams, 97 and a half points. Wally Swift, Jr., 98 and a half points. The winner then, Wally Swift. I've seen some warm-up fights, but gosh, what a fight that was. Yeah, it was a, to be honest, he was about the toughest lad I fought, I think. He, I kept banging him over. Well, not putting him down, but I kept shaking up real bad. And he always came back. Um, I hadn't fought for six months. Um, I think it began to tell a bit of the eighth round. But every he came back, and we always had something extra. I thought I wasn't comfortable, to be honest. I just looked a bit bad marked up, I think. It was only a two-round margin in him. Well, to be honest, I thought I won a lot easier than that. I thought I'd won about the first six rounds comfortable. Well, Swift's facial injuries meant that he won't, in fact, be able to challenge for that European title next month. His fight against the Frenchman, Jean-Claude Fontana, has been postponed until later in the year. Well, that's where we end the programme. I'm sure we'll all be glad of a breather after that. We'll be back next week, of course, with our usual compendium of soccer from home and abroad. And golf, our main feature, the Johnny Walker Classic. Do join us for that for now. Bye-bye. Well, we've the news headlines next. Then Dolly Parton opens the doors of the best little whorehouse in Texas, known to the local cockerels as the Chicken Ranch. He's got your eyes. Oh, your Once upon a time, a beautiful princess. Don't forget to phone. Just a bit to get this done. Dad, this is James. Is it? Can you afford it? Darling, I've got Dad, to... where will we be there? It's been a lovely day. Surprise, surprise. Happy birthday, Gran. Ten red bottles hanging on the wall. Mm -hmm. Blood pack to maternity, please. Mm -hmm. Two packs to surgical. Mm -hmm. That's about husband's children's board. Two packs to casualty. One to transplant unit. Two required in theatre. And if one red bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be no... The police at Sun Hill are led a merry dance. Thirty odd young boys on one estate are making us all look like prize idiots. We got them. We got them. Now we think we might be able to identify a ringleader. A ringleader? You're clutching at straws, Derek. Will Derek be proved right? The bill Tuesday at eight. The Prime Minister says his citizens' charter will be at the heart of Tory policy for the 90s. Mr Major has put the charter back on the election agenda. He says improving public services doesn't need to mean spending more. Politeness, keeping promises, giving the right information, answering letters promptly, those things don't cost money. They're the everyday currency of decent services, and we're determined to make sure that they become universal. The idea that they can bring significant improvement without better investment is a nonsense, and everybody using public services knows that to be the case. Britain's balance of payments is in the red for the fifth year running. The gap between exports and imports narrowed to £5.8 billion, compared with over £15 billion in 1990. That's a smaller deficit than the Chancellor had predicted. Four company pension funds in Mr Robert Maxwell's former empire have been wound up. Most of the 4,000 people who paid in could lose everything. In a corporate video made four years ago, Maxwell appealed to his employees to stay in his pension scheme. I'm addressing you today for the purpose of persuading you that it is in your and your family's best interest to remain a member. That's it. More news later.
Our movie now is a musical comedy with Dolly Parton and Burt Reynolds topping the bill in the best little whorehouse in Texas. little whorehouse you ever saw. It lay about a mile outside the city limits, so everybody could feel real friendly. Sheriff Jack Roy Wallace picked it out from Miss Woolagene in 1910. 